Hey, this is My Little Pony Toys and Reviews, and today I'm talking about my teacher um, getting in an argument with me and my friend, and it was really annoying, and I hated it, but I thought it would make an interesting story, so here we go. This story time is about a teacher I had last year who hated me and I'm just gonna talk about the kind of steps that went forward to her not liking me at all. Funny enough it was my film class teacher and it was her first year of teaching at my high school at the time and I did not know that when signing up for the class. I signed up for film and photography because you know I really liked it since you know my YouTube and all I thought, why not? You know, it's going to be something fun. I can learn new stuff. I can, you know, maybe if I wanted to come back to YouTube during that time. Like, I was also thinking about coming back to YouTube during that time. I was like, you know, why not do it? Just take the class. Biggest mistake of my life. Not only is this teacher literally psycho, but she did not know what she was saying. Like, she is an English teacher. She was literally an English teacher before she became, before she took this class. And she did not know how to use the editing system. She did not know how to use any of the cameras. The school basically just gave her all this equipment and was like, all right, cool. We were filming another video, my two group members, and there was two different classrooms. There was a computer lab that we had to edit and there was the filming room, which had the green screen, the lighting, all the camera equipment, the tripods, the microphones, and everything. And my two teammates, the two guys that were also in my group, went to the other room, which literally across the school with her keys, got in there, carried everything back to the other room so we could go film. And they were taking like 10 minutes to do it. or maybe, And like I just didn't go with them because... There was no need for me to walk back and forth when I could just stay in the classroom. And we already finished our script. We finished our app. No, no, no. We didn't. Yeah, we finished our script. And we didn't finish our outline. Or it was something like that. It was like the outline of um, how we're going to shoot it. Like what angles we're going to use and stuff. to, And like this, you know, like the sort of storyboard thing. But just writing it. And I forgot what it was called. I wasn't writing it. I was just sitting there and I was waiting. Like I was just doing other homework. And she comes up to me and she's like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm waiting for my classmates to come back. She's like, you need to be doing work. And I was like, I, there's no work for me to do. And then she was like, well, what about the outline? And I was like, I can't do that by myself. Like, we need to discuss it within our team. Like, how we're going to do it, you know? But it honestly wasn't, we already talked about it. We're like, this is not super important, but we're going to, if we're still going to write it down, we're still going to talk about it, you know? That's kind of what our team agreed to. Like, we're going to do these writings together because if one person does it and the other person doesn't agree with it, then that's going to be a problem. Like, one person can't write all of it if it's a group effort to film it, you know? It doesn't make sense. So how am I supposed to do it by myself if it's a group effort? Like, I can type and, like, discuss it with my team, but they're not there. So what am I supposed to do? And then she kind of agreed with me. She knew I was right, and she was like, okay, but um, you shouldn't just be sitting here. Next time, just go with them. And I was like, there's no reason to that, though. No. Like, why do I have to walk with them to just grab a few equipment which they can carry by themselves? It's not a lot. It's not all this much equipment. It's just they can carry it, and I don't really need to go. There's no reason for me to walk back and forth with them if I can just sit here and wait for them, and then we'll go film together. And then she just kind of walks away. And these guys were taking longer than they should have. And this was because they kind of goofed around in the classroom. But they didn't tell me they were doing that. And I had no idea. Like, I honestly thought they were just taking a long time. And she came to me and she's like, what's taking them so long? And I was like, I, I don't know. Like, I'm not with them. <laughs> I, I can text him, but I don't know why they're taking so long. So I texted them. I'm like, can you guys hurry up, please? Like, Miss... Sorry, I don't want to say her name. Miss is like on me and she won't leave me alone because she wants you guys to hurry up and then she's like you see this is what I mean you're wasting all this time because they're taking so long and I was like that's not my fault like how am I supposed to know they're gonna take this long I honestly thought they were just gonna go to get the equipment and then come back like this is not my fault <laughs> she was like blaming me for this thing that is not my fault at all and nothing that I can change in the moment like this isn't my fault <laughs> So then she just walks away again, but 
they come back into the classroom and I tell them what's happening and she's like ranting to another student across the aisle and I'm telling them what happened what's happening and I was like mad that this happened so I, I was I rolled my eyes while I was talking to them and the teacher looked at me as I was rolling my eyes I wasn't looking at her I was explaining to them what happened and I rolled my eyes I think she was overlooking on my conversation because I was like she was just bothering me to do this work and I had nothing to do she was just yelling at me to yell at me it was so annoying and she was just being so extra about it and I rolled my eyes and she saw and then she literally turns around she turns looks at me straight on because she was just kind of side eyeing me at first when this and I didn't notice but my friends noticed but they didn't say anything to me she turns around puts her hands on her hips looks at me and is like do you have a problem with me? A grown woman turned to me in the most dramatic teenage, like, I'm about to fight you type of way and said, do you have a problem with me? What kind of teacher says that? And I was so done at this point that I literally turned around, I was in like a chair, and I looked at her and I was like, yeah, I do have a problem with you. This teacher was so shook when I told her that I have a problem with her. I don't know what she thought I was going to say, but you know what? Forget you. Yeah, I have a problem with you. You ask me if I do, I do. I got a problem with you. What's up? At this point, I didn't even care if I got in trouble. I was like, forget you. I don't care what you have to say. I do have a problem with you. And she said, really? Why do you have a problem with me? And I was like, you know, maybe since you've been bothering me all period to do work that I can't even do. You've been walking over here, hanging over my shoulder, purposely just starting fights with me because I'm sitting here waiting for my teammates. And it's not my fault they took longer, okay? There was nothing I could have done. She was flabbergasted, literally flabbergasted at that I replied to her like this and I was like, you know what, I don't even care, get me in trouble, kick me out of this class. I didn't say that, I was just thinking this and um, she just, she was just so mad. She stormed on over to me and she was like, I will not be talked to like this. I don't know who you think you are, but I'm the teacher. And you should have been doing something. You are just being lazy and sitting there and not doing work for my class. Then I just kind of got scared and I sort of backed down because I lost all sort of, you know, hype that I had. And I was just sitting there and I was like, well, um, I don't know. There was nothing I could do, so I don't know what to tell you. You know, like, what, what do you want me to say? And then that's when my friend's older brother stepped in and he was like, you were just bothering her because she couldn't do any work. We were gone. Like, we already talked about that we need to discuss everything that we do in a group before we write it down and turn it in. Because we want to make sure that we all agree, since this is a group project. And let me just say, this guy has a pretty convincing way of talking. More than me, because I'm just kind of feisty, and I get angry, and I just say, you know, whatever. I don't like you, so this is what I think. And I don't care. Like, I say everything in a sassy way. He says it in sort of like the, wait, you really don't agree? Like, are you stupid sort of way? So it makes the other person want to think, oh, maybe I am thinking wrong, you know? And that's what he said to her. And she just kind of shut up. Then she just stopped. And she was like, well, I just don't want this to happen again. And the whole class is staring at us now. And, like, the whole class is just kind of silent, like, what and like the next few days like people that are in that class came up to me and they're like I can't believe that happened with you and miss with you and you know the teacher like that was so crazy like I'm glad that you stood up to her she was being crazy like bothering you for no reason I was like I know I'm not crazy she's literally weird like that's not my fault and all the students I talked to agreed with me so I don't know what to tell you and that's all for this video where I talked about my teacher getting in a argument with me and my friend so yeah I hope you enjoyed I have more videos about this teacher too uh, make sure you like comment and subscribe and go check out my other videos all right see you next time this is Milo Point Toys and Reviews signing out